Okay, so now let's start with error handling. So to do it, let's initialize a try catch in here. Like this, and cut this line of code and paste it in here. And let's print the error if any error occurred. So let's say in here, error occurred. And let's call the error by typing it like this. And let's restart the application. Go to the sign up screen, fill up the information. And try it now. So I got an error again. And let's search for error occurred. So nothing is getting printed, even if there is an error. And in our case, there is an error and nothing is getting printed. So that's because this method is a future, as you can see. So we need to add a sync keyword in here and let's await it. Let's save it now. Try to sign up again. Here it is. Now this is actually not a user-friendly error and the user will not understand it. So let's access in here the message of this error. Let's save it again. Try to sign up. So here it is. So only this message is being printed. Now we need to show the user something on the screen. So the best method to do it is to show a dialog. But this dialog we will use it in the sign up screen and the Google sign up and in the login screen. So just like once we did it for the the wishlet screen. So in this section in here while we recycle the code of the dialog. So in here so if you're not familiar of how I did it, go back to the lecture and there you will find how I did it. And I will do it again, so don't worry. So in here, let's go to the surfaces and in the global methods, let's copy this method. Actually, all of this method. And paste it in here. Now we need to change the name for it, so let's say auth error handle. We don't need a function in here, but we do need these three. Actually, we don't actually need this title also. Let's say in here error occurred and remove this function. And that's it. Now we need to access that method. So let's go back to the sign up screen. And in here, let's say global methods. Let's say global methods equal to global methods. So just initialize it like this. Let's make it private. Copy it and in here, Let's access this method. We need to provide the subtitles. So in here, let's say error dot message and pass in the context. To start it now, go to the sign up screen, fill up the form, and in here, type the email, type the password and the phone number. Try to sign up. So here it is. Now it is very user friendly and we don't actually need this console in here. Let's go back to the global methods and just remove this code. Press OK in here. Try it again. Here it is. Now it would be better if we show a spinner in here while it's being loaded. So let's initialize a boolean and set it to false. 
let's name this boolean as loading and set it to false and in here or just once the user press it but I will do it in here let's call it the state and put it equal to true copy this code and in here we can call the finally keyword and set it to false again now search for the sign up in here so instead of this row or instead of all this button in here so we can access the is loading and if this is the case we need to show a circle blur progress indicator let's save it try again here it is so now we've implemented the sign up method and we handle the error and show a spinner once it's being loaded in the next video we'll start implementing the login so stay tuned